Hello all, this is Ken. Uh, I am going to explain the functions, features of Playlist Alarm, the application that I built for Android. Let's start it off. I just, uh, this is a T-Mobile uh, MyTouch first generation. Um, so it's running 1.6, which is the minimum version for this application. And I just installed it on this phone. I'm going to go through, uh, quick as I can, the basic setup and operation of the application. Uh, and let's go. This is the screen you'll see when you first launch the application. Um, it just gives the current version number and uh, any changes that I've made to the phone, um, to the application, uh, the latest changes to the application. Um, uh, also is saying this, this little message here, rebuilt database, this only happens uh, if I've done a major rewrite of the database, but you, you won't, I, that rarely happens for this application. So this message you won't see very often. Um, is, you're seeing it here because um, uh, this is the first time the, the application has been run, and so the ba database was, um, was just initialized. So we'll just click OK for that. And uh, when you first go into the application, um, it'll give you a default playlist. It creates a default playlist name and a default time. Um, what you'll need to do, uh, because this is the first time uh, is, uh, anything has been uh, put on the, the application, you want to go to playlist to set up your, um, to set up a playlist. Let's create our own playlist rather than, rather than use the default one listed there and let's call this uh, wake up and see okay now once the you create the name for the playlist uh, it scans your SD card for songs um, uh, for compatible songs on your SD card. If you have no songs on your SD card, this application won't work, just a word of warning. And uh, here the, uh, are all the songs on my SD card. And well, this is one of the things I wanted to show you. If you, give, if you do a quick tap of one of the songs on uh, the list, you'll hear a sample. Well, actually, you won't hear the sample. The song will, the music, the song will start playing. This is a good way of just checking um, which songs you want to add, which ones you don't want to add. Just give it another tap and it'll stop playing. Um, you can fast scroll through the list as well. And now the way you add a song to uh, your playlist, your current playlist, you just do a long press and you'll see the um, uh, dialog come up for the song listed at the top and what you want to do. Um, we just want to add to playlist, and it'll give you an um, option, another a dialog saying, well, you want to add it to the current playlist. This is the one that we just created. The current playlist is always the playlist listed at that top screen, at the top item on the main screen. Um, we're not going to do that. Um, actually, you'll see the playlist, all of the playlists that you have will be listed at the bottom, and you can scroll down. As you add more playlists, you'll see them listed here. What we're going to do for make this fast and simple is select this add all songs on card. And what it's doing is it's going through the SD card and adding every single song I have on this card. Yeah, and I know this is a bug. I'm going to fix this eventually. Um, let's go. And I just backed out of that, that screen that was supposed to list all your songs. But look, let's go back to the playlist. Actually, no, I want to, you do that. You go to the playlist by clicking uh, Edit Playlist. There are a couple of ways of doing all the things you want to do on this, this app. And we're going to see, we see here the playlist that we just created, 172 songs, all the songs on this SD card, the, the total time of playing for that. And you click on it, and you'll see the list of all the songs in the list um, in this particular uh, current playlist. If you want to edit a song, you just hold it and you can click long press and click delete. I copied the same um, format used in the native uh, uh, music player on Android. So 
uh, which is actually a fairly straightforward way of um, going through the song. So a lot of people get confused on how to actually add or remove songs, I guess. They don't really know about the um, um, long press feature. And you can just do that for any song that you want to take off, long press it while you're in the uh, edit playlist feature right here. And we're going to go back and we see the, the we deleted a few songs there. And we're going to go all the way back to the main screen. And real quick, I'm going to set up um, an actual playlist uh, alarm. Now, after you've created a playlist, what you want to do is set up your time. And what time is it now? Um, seven. Try to get this to actually go off while I'm recording this. Maybe it won't. And also very important, set your day of the week. I'm going to set this to go off every single day of this weekday. Um, I have, you can have uh, playlists to go off just for weekends, from, some for weekdays or holidays, whatever. You know, that's, that's the whole idea of the application. And we'll see that listed alarm days of the week. Playlist will sound on these days. And, and I just clicked it there. Alarm state, you want to check. Um, the alarm state, make sure that is on. Green means on. Uh, I also want to shuffle the songs. The songs that appear in the playlist um, are put there in the order that they're added. Uh, you can't arrange them right now, so they only appear in the way they're added. I just always um, click shuffle the songs so they appear, they appear randomly as they play. And you can set the uh, time that you want this uh, alarm to actually play. Sometimes I like to do it for a half an hour. Um, and after uh, it finishes playing, this is a nice little feature here. Let's say you want to, um, it, it comes on for a half an hour and you want it to beep or buzz or something like that. Some sort of actual normal conventional alarm. You can have it, um, you can have it do that. and then you set you set the type of buzzer and when you want it to buzz the default says don't use the buzzer I'm gonna set it to buzz at the end of the song when it comes on um, and basically what's gonna happen the way this is set up is gonna turn on at 743 um, and it's gonna run for a half an hour and at the end of that half an hour is you're gonna hear the little buzzer well you're not gonna hear it I'm not gonna let that play um, one of the other features on this uh, app is it's also got a sleep timer. So you not only will wake you up in the morning when you want to um, get up, but you can also use it to uh, listen to music before you're going to sleep. Um, and you can have it play for however long you want, you know, uh, um, 10, 20 minutes, hour or two. And the app, it just started. I don't know if you can hear that. But you'll see the little indicator at the top there. What happens is you can um, click on this, pull down the notification bar when, it, when it's on, and click that and launch the app, and that'll turn it off. That's a quick and easy way to turn it off. But an even quicker way of turning it off, because remember, I'm figuring I'm usually uh, half asleep anyway. Sometimes I just don't want to hear music. So I put in this uh, shake it off feature. Um, and with shake it off activated what will happen is you can just and and that didn't work you know why it didn't work because I didn't set it when I set the um, alarm so what I'm gonna do actually show you real quick how to turn it off the conventional way you go into the notification bar you click this bam and it stopped the music um, what I was saying about shake it off is if the alarm is set and you check this green button um, with your alarm when it goes off you can just reach the grab for the phone and shake it and it'll go off it's a quick and uh, dirty way of um, quick and easy way of turning the thing off um, when you're a little tired in the morning well that's that's a um, fast uh, run through of all the features um, for this alarm and you can always go uh, if you want to add a new song real quick 
go to menu, hit songs, and these are all the songs on your SD card. The app won't uh, delete any songs on your SD card. Anything, uh, any part where you, I saw where I showed you how to delete songs, it was just deleting songs from your playlist that you create. Uh, it won't delete anything from your SD card, so not, nothing um, will ever be affected on that. Um, but these are all the songs on the SD card currently. And again, hit the song once and you'll hear it play, stop it and won't. And long press, remember, you can add it to uh, a playlist by long pressing like that. And you can edit by going into menu and hit um, edit and you can go through and edit the songs you don't want on the playlist. And one other thing, backing out, I'm going to go to menu and hit assignments. That'll show you how the playlists for the week are assigned. And I just set this for the weekdays. And you see um, they're all on and they're the time that they're set by. And this thing just went off. So when I back out of the alarm, go to the main screen and then back out, you'll see a message at the end telling you uh, the next time the alarm is going to sound, which is in about 24 hours. Well, that's a quick run through um, for this playlist alarm. I'll maybe add more um, examples uh, if I get requests. Um, it, there's a lot in this, arm, uh, uh, this application. It's actually very much more complicated than any of the apps um, I've built to date, which are actually these three other apps you see down at the bottom there. Um, so if you have any problems, email me. If you have any bugs, email me. Uh, I can say for all developers is you want to email the developer if you find a bug. Comments are for critiquing the app, not for venting your rage at something that doesn't work. Try to remember that. So um, if you have, find a bug, just email me and let me know and I'll, I'll take a look at it and um, fix it up. And uh, that's it. Thanks for uh, watching.